What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning into my channel, Jace's Own World. I wanted to make this video for you guys to see if you guys could find anything uh, relating to my fuel pressure uh, issues. Maybe not fuel pressure, but just like fueling issues. So in this video, I'm gonna be pulling up the values for my fuel pressure in VCDS, also known as VACCOM and the pressures that I'm going to be pulling up and showing in the video are going to be my low fuel pressure specified and actual and my high fuel pressure specified and actual as well as my fuel pressure. So let's get right into this video and see these values. I'm going to be driving while these values are going. So if any of you have anything any knowledge that you can give me regarding these values if they look good to you or bad or anything like that just let me know in the comments all right let's get there I'm in fifth right now I'm gonna blip down to fourth now I'm going to blip down into third back into fourth, go back into fifth, and go back into sixth. Holding my speed right now. Six. Oh, sorry, that was second. It's really hard with one hand, <laughs> especially my left hand. Now I'm just gonna. Car's at operating temperature. It's at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna do a tiny little pull here. Flip it into fourth. And do a little fourth gear pull. I'm at 2,800 RPMs right now. Roads are wet, there are people outside, so I don't want to go any faster than that, but I just want to get that clock on the here all right guys so as you could see there I had my low pressure and my high pressure specified and actual values using VCDS I also had the coolant temperature up to temp as well as my fuel pressure value there on the video so if any of you can see that data unfortunately my car did not blip like it's so random because my car will like blip or like hesitate basically misfire in the morning so randomly like 90 percent of the time it happens but then there's a day that it doesn't happen right now this is the second day in a row that it hasn't happened and i'm just like of course when i want to record and put all this stuff together it's not gonna it's not gonna uh, hesitate for me or blip or anything, right? So you can't really see the the value, the the, the low or high pressure values um, 
with that hesitation if it's not doing it. So that kind of sucks. I'm gonna have to do this every day until it actually hesitates for me. Hopefully it does it again. Uh, but according to those values, if anyone can, uh, you know, get any information, if any, if I can get any knowledge from any of you guys with those values that you just saw in the video, let me know. Uh, I would like to know, you know, specifically really if it's high pressure or low pressure fuel related related. Cause I just don't know. I don't I don't know what to look for. And I'm gonna I'm going this route before I take it to the shop to have them diagnose it instead. So and uh I talked to one guy on one of the pages on Facebook and um I've been messaging him. He seems to know his stuff about this car and just like diagnosing type of stuff. Uh, a lot more than I do so you know I've asked him a few questions here and there uh, but um, gotta love the e-brake gotta love the e-brake I just love that I miss that um, with other cars but getting back to this um, I've been talking to him and he said sometimes the values that come up on VCDS aren't you know they're accurate but they they can't really tell you everything what's going on so most of the time a good mechanic will uh, hook up an actual gauge into this system with the car in the shop so I'm afraid I might have to do that at one point but I'm not gonna I, I these are all just little diagnoses this is good for me because I'm learning a little bit from this stuff and also learning how to use VCDS more um, but um, it's also good for you guys to you know if you guys are having any issues or or come across these kind of issues in the future um <clears throat> so yeah but i'm afraid i'm probably gonna have to take it to a shop anyways and just pay the diagnosing fee and have them figure it out and i'm sure maybe a shop will probably even know like the issue right away a lot faster than i will also this is a, a recurring issue so i'm not going to like worry about it too much because after the sputtering goes away like it won't it won't come back on all day long so it will happen in the morning as i'm driving to work and then sometimes i have to turn the car on and off but after that it doesn't happen all day long so the car is drivable the car's fine after it does that weird thing in the morning you know when it does it so i'm not worrying too much about it i'm worrying more about my coolant right now and my water pump and my thermostat and so i've already ordered those on fcp euro and uh, they should be arriving here within a week or so. Um, I also ordered the little tool that VW makes for the little bolt that goes to the pulley that the belt goes around because that's such a tight little spot. And I'll show you when I make the video. Um, that's such a tight little spot that you can't really get a wrench in there to take the bolt out um, because not enough of the bolt is exposed to actually get a good grip on the bolt and so most people just leave the water pump pulley belt in there and that's what I did last time on my last install but now that I'm you know see how many miles am I at I'm at 166,173 miles right now so I'm getting up there in mileage and I figured I'll just spend the money for that tool so that I can actually replace the belt this time and uh, not worry about the belt failing in the future. I don't think it's one of those parts that fails. It's not really a common failure for the water pump belt to actually fail, but I think it's just good maintenance to uh, get it done. And you know, the tool itself it was like 90 bucks, which sucks, $90 and change. So it's a lot for a one time use pretty much tool it is what it is but I don't have any other way to take it off so I'm going to do that um, so yeah I'm going to worry about the water pump and the thermostat uh, more than this issue but it is an issue so I'm just you know as I have time I'm doing it so if uh, once again um, if any of you have any input you would like to give me right in the comments or send me a private message you can send me a private message on my instagram page 
and uh, it's Jace's own world as well. And uh, for all of those who have subscribed and have watched my videos, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It would help. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your comments and all your questions and all of your support and your subscriptions and everything, liking the video, disliking everything. I just, I, I appreciate all of you guys. I'm going to leave this video right there. So take care guys. And until the next video, peace. Mm -hmm.